Okay, so if you don't think the actions of the Hallelujah Scriptures team, the eviction team, and the criminal operation that the Hallelujah Scriptures is currently running is weird enough, I finally got in some of these pictures that the Trisha Elliott and her family was able to get. And as these men assaulted Trisha Elliott and Aaron Parks, <clears throat> after that assault, they went and they stayed in a tent outside of the land. And you can hear witness testimony to that. This is where it gets really bizarre. And I'm starting to look through some of these pictures. And the stuff they left out in the rain is very very bizarre now as these gentlemen left to go somewhere who knows where and the Bibles are being shipped out of there this little family went out to the, where these men were camping and they grabbed some pictures of this stuff and the stuff these guys left out in the rain now right out of the gate you're like well okay that that doesn't look like a big deal at all but this is the tent they bought under the Holy Scriptures name these are the guys that stayed out there. And this is what they actually left in the tent. And they had a huge bong. And this bong says hipster. I guess what is really evil, what I find evil. That's a okay chainsaw. Now what I find kind of evil, besides this, here's a, here's a huge weed grinder, right? So the Hallelujah Scriptures is having one hell of an eviction party, if, you're, if you know what I mean. They're really ripping this up. There's their bong, and there's their pipe. Now, this is what I find very ironic, is that it's sitting right next to a, probably a large print, Hallelujah Scriptures. You got bongs and scriptures sitting right there. These are the kind of people that the Hallelujah Scriptures uses because they're thugs. And these guys come rolling in there and hold a family hostage for a long time. And um, it looked like there's two bongs in there. Look at that. I didn't notice that at first. There is two bongs. So who brings two bongs like this? This bong right here. And then the other one, the hipster one. Wow, these guys really were out there having a party. Look at the size of that thing. Wow, that is, they really smoked that up. That is amazing. Now, if you wonder why the actions of the Holy Scriptures are so weird, it's probably because they are higher than kites at this point. And that is also the same with Deborah Weiss because she has a lot of pharmaceuticals that she buys over there on the donation money. Now, the hand of Yah handed these people over. The hand of Yah allowed men like this to come and assault a family who's now homeless. We have 16 days now to get Trisha Elliott some sort of a thing. I don't think we're going to make our goals. And so now we're looking at a, like a canvas tent. So we, she can, a canvas tent that we can get her into because we just haven't had a tremendous amount of donations. Prior to going to Hallelujah Scriptures to work, she lived in a tent at a some campground, her and her family, and um, that is, um, you know, I just, I would rather them not going back to tents, but all these houses that I'm looking at are like five, six, seven hundred dollars, things of that nature, and um, it's, it's not, it's not long term, right? If we got them in there, and these deposits they're looking at are just insane, and so we're trying to find this family something. And at this point, the best we can offer her with the donation cash that has come in is, is like a military canvas tent. It's like $1,000, $1,100. And so we were trying for one of the families to get a, um, a bus. And they're, they're getting closer, but we're not there yet. But these are the pictures that came in. And very, very soon, I'm going to have an interview with... Ms. Trisha Elliott and maybe one of her kids or two of her kids or some of the kids or maybe they'll all come on as a family but um, this is the Hallelujah Scriptures friends this is what they do this is how they party it up this is how they thug and when people are like well that's just the people representing the Hallelujah Scriptures no this is the Hallelujah Scriptures 
These people do this. This is what these people do. They're very, very, very evil. And they have done some very evil stuff. And all of the people associated with them are evil. They need to return over a million dollars right now of assets that they have stolen on the backs of people. They need to get this back. My friends, all these donations, there are no orphans, widows, or lepers. There's one guy out there that's screaming something, but he's in the pockets of Deborah Weiss. The only people that are, are screaming for Deborah Weiss are people that are in their pockets, like the Demon Time T that went after the victims. You know, she was going off about, oh, the mob of people, and they were all um, trying to, like, steal the Bibles. No, they weren't. They weren't. They were sitting here getting loaded, getting extremely high, and then going on a Shabbat and trying to attack a family, right? And so the night before, these guys were probably, they had the bong. I don't know who brought the two bongs in, right? Who, who brings bongs like this? So anyway, that's about the end of it. Um, guys, it's very much worth supporting this little family. They've given up a tremendous amount. Um, I'm feeling their pain of homelessness and um, trying to find this little family where to go, how to get them there. And um, I feel like this is a one of a responsibility that falls all on the backs of those who have helped support Hallelujah Scriptures for all these years. And everybody, all your donations have gone nowhere. So for the first time ever, we're going to be able to send the donations to people that need them. And so guys, if you can help, we'll leave the link. And this is the Hallelujah Scriptures. And this is how they act.